Playing Roblox in this country just got a whole lot better. This Roblox game got hacked. Roblox is officially changing on October 15th. And uh, a lot of other stuff I'm going to talk about. Because uh, there's just a lot of news that has happened over the past couple days. And I'm going to inform you about it after I ask you to subscribe. Because every time you subscribe, I think it's a gazillion times better. So just please subscribe. Anyways, but uh, yeah, we'll start off with the smaller things. With the first story being just a dev update. So if you're a developer, this is probably very, very important to you. If you're not a developer, you probably won't care. But it's this tweet right here from Blox News that says, New in Creator Analytics track any custom event within your roblox experience such as ui interactions player preferences game balance and more you can also break down these analytics using custom fields. now i think i've seen this before uh basically what it means is that you can like code in specific events into your roblox game roblox now has like an analytics page that will tell you where people are like leaving your game and like what step people get stuck on and whatnot i think this is very good if you make like tutorials in your game because then you can see like what step people are getting to and like what step they might be quitting on so you can like fix that and whatnot and i think that's very good but yeah, here's the dev forum post about it. I'm not going to read it because it's just all a bunch of dev mumbo jumbo. But if you go into the comments, you can see a lot of people super duper excited about this. And yeah, I, I can totally see the use case for this. This is super duper important. And uh, it could totally help a lot of people with like retention and whatever and whatnot. And yeah, pretty dang cool. But now we can move on to the next story, which just happens to be Blox is basically going to be changing on October 15th because Blox News tweeted out this. The updated experience control menu is going to be officially rolling out to all Roblox users on October 15th. 15. This menu allows for the addition of newer features, more developer customization, and yes, removes the microphone icon from above your avatar's head. Oh, okay, so this isn't actually in the game. Okay, I think I did have this menu at one point, but they did remove it from me because I guess it was like in testing periods. But now it's officially going to be rolling out to everyone. And yeah, this is actually a very, very, very good update because yeah, it's going to remove the microphone icon from above your head. And the reason that's a big deal if you don't have voice chat, it's because uh, if there was like a GUI element over your voice chat icon, you could still accidentally click on your voice chat icon through that GUI menu and accidentally unmute yourself. And that would happen to a lot of people. I, I literally, like, not even that long ago, I was playing a Roblox game and I kept unmuting myself and talking in the game by accident and it was so embarrassing, dude. And a lot of the times when a lot of people, like, accidentally unmuted themselves, they'd say, like, a swear word and whatnot and then they would get banned. That's basically why a bunch of people thought they got banned for no reason. It's because, yeah, they were accidentally unmuting themselves and saying swear words, which uh, is a very common occurrence on Roblox. But on October 15th, that will finally be fixed for every single person on the platform and uh, that's pretty exciting dude they also show in this gif right here that you can like look at music yeah there's a little music tab which is kind of weird but yeah you can see like the song that's playing in the game currently that's actually really really cool i also imagine with this menu it's gonna have some stuff for like the group chat slash party system that is coming out next month so i assume by the time this rolls out to everybody we should be seeing that new party update that got announced at rdc sometime around october 15th which is very very exciting but now we can move on to something that's uh, a little bit bit more uh <laughs> and it's albert so basically this is not roblox related but i just i just wanted to include albert's tweet because he almost ratioed mr beast but basically there's like this whole new thing with mr beast ksi logan paul they're making like a lunchable clone and uh, basically a lot of people are not happy with this honestly i kind of agree it, i think it is a little bit stupid and like weird like it doesn't really feel like they're making this product out of love it kind of just feels like they're making it for money but i mean at the end of the day they're businessmen so that's kind of like their purpose on earth i guess but basically drama alert tweeted out how like nobody is happy with this and then mr beast responded with a big long like paragraph talking about how his new product is amazing and whatnot and then we have albert right here saying if you release this product i will ah man i don't know if i can read that <laughs> and as you can see the likes are very very close albert got 37k and mr beast got 52,000. yeah so tldr albert just saved the world everybody was hating on this lunchable thing and now mr beast legally can't release it because albert is going to do this if he releases it so thank you albert you just saved the world from lunchies or lunch lunchlies thank you so much dude <laughs> but yeah i just thought that was really funny anyways let's move on which is brazil having a ginormous change and basically what is that change you might be asking well they're finally getting their own servers so for the longest time i think for about a year and a half now people in brazil have not had their own servers and basically whenever they played roblox they would have to connect to like servers across the world sometimes which would uh give them a lot of internet issues like they would have pretty high ping when they played roblox and it would kind of just suck. But it seems like finally, after years upon years of asking, Roblox is finally adding servers in Brazil. And there's like actual proof of this. As you can see here, the uh, Brazilian Roblox News Twitter account tweeted out this. Urgent, my God. After more
more than a thousand days of waiting, countless promises, and many requests, Roblox is now testing Brazilian servers. And yeah, they include a screenshot here from someone where basically they're using Blockstrap to see like where their server is located. And it says it's in Brazil, which is pretty cool, dude. Because yeah, I remember seeing so many tweets about how Roblox promised Brazilian servers in I think 2021 and it's 2024 and they just didn't do it yet. But it seems like as of yesterday and the day before, Roblox was testing some Brazilian servers. Servers. And this is like a giant deal because I think Brazil is like one of the top five countries that play Roblox like in size. I think they may be top three. Like it's it's massive, dude. This is a giant deal. But now we can move on to a huge virus scam that I've been seeing on Roblox or on Twitter about Roblox. But basically, if you tweet out Roblox right now, you will get one of these random bot accounts replying to you saying stuff like this. Did you know you can get daily rewards on Roblox for UGC items and Robux using our edge extension? No as I'm, I'm probably gonna blur all of this out so you guys don't go and download it but basically uh yeah they're promoting an extension for microsoft edge and they're replying to every single person that tweets out the word roblox now i don't know what this extension does but i, I think it's obviously fake because you can't just get daily rewards like robux from random things it's just not possible now i don't know exactly what this extension does but i am inclined to believe it doesn't do anything good <laughs> because for the longest time i've been hearing about these microsoft edge extensions being terrible one main person that has been talking about this is julian i've seen a couple tweets from julian basically saying like wow microsoft edge really needs to step up their game and start banning these like malicious roblox extensions and it seems like they're not listening uh it seems like they're just getting worse because now there's twitter bots replying to literally everyone talking about their brand new roblox edge extension <laughs> but uh yeah tldr if you are on twitter and you tweet out roblox you will most likely get a bot response like that just don't download it okay just don't all right if you see anything like that that seems too good to be true it's too good to be true dude like you're gonna get hacked or something <laughs> don't trust random things on the internet like that okay but either way we can now move on to the next story which just happens to be a roblox game getting hacked i i, I saw this and i didn't understand it but let's read it together so the roblox brazilian account tweeted out this yesterday nars roblox group was hacked by someone the attacker even gave admin permissions to new group members who could edit the games steal assets etc with a screenshot of what the game turned into and apparently the image changed to this it says i craft pe i don't know what that is <laughs> or is it l craft i have no clue but yeah either way nars is like a makeup company and they had like a pretty big sponsored game for what it was but uh it seems like they got completely hacked and that's just kind of weird like it has 300,000 members like that's a lot of people but uh yeah that's what went on with that i think it's been fixed obviously by now it's been like a whole day let me go check oh wow okay so i went to their group and it says nars sweet rush is now closed thank you for all the fun and memories wow so i guess the game got hacked and and I guess they just didn't care to recover it and they deleted the game. Wow, that kind of sucks. I feel bad. I wonder why they didn't just recover the game because on Roblox, when you actually like have changes made to a game and whatnot, there's like different versions. Like you can just roll back the game to a different version. You know what I mean? I don't know why they didn't just like roll back the game. I guess maybe the game just got so messed up that it's like impossible to do that because as I said earlier, they were giving all new members of this group admin privileges. Like that's so bad. But I mean, I don't think the game had many players to begin with so maybe it just wasn't worth recovering for that reason alone i don't know either way kind of sucks 